about the HTC One or the HTC M8 or the HTC Two or whatever HTC decides to call their next flagship device. Let's go ahead and get started. We've been seeing leaks and rumors of the next HTC One for the better part of almost six months. The HTC One was my favorite device of last year, so needless to say, I'm kind of excited about what they have next. I think HTC's got some of the best build going uh, in all smartphones, and especially in the Android world. So earlier this week, HTC finally said enough is enough. Here's when you're going to see the latest hotness. Sent out invites for an event on March 25th in London and New York City, which, as a side note, we will be at, covering it, showing you all the latest stuff. So let me refresh your mind on what might be coming from HTC. So we're going to have on-screen buttons. So gone are the very annoying capacitor buttons here. Don't have a home button. Uh, happy it'll be going on-screen. That home button will make a return. Kind of one of the cool things, though, is see dual cameras on the back. And you're probably saying, hey, John, why dual cameras? Is it for 3D? We saw those a few years back. And the answer is, please, no, not for 3D. Supposedly, we're going to have some sort of after-focusing, uh, sort of a light field type technology that we saw on the Lightro camera, which essentially means you can focus after the fact. So if you're chasing around your pet, your significant other, or your kid, you just snap a picture, look at it on your phone, tap it, and it will automatically come to focus after you took the picture, which is a really, really cool thing. Uh, these modules are pretty brand new. That's sort of the two lenses. And if the HTC uh, One or Seek, whatever they call it, uh, pulls it off, it'll be the first phone that actually has that. So kind of cool. Hopefully, that'll make its way to video. Uh, as well. We should see 4.4 KitKat out of the box, hopefully 4.4.2, but at the very least we will have some KitKat delectable deliciousness coming right out of the box. Uh, an improved Sense 6. Uh, Sense has been one of the skins that I really liked, actually, uh, in the Android world. Uh, so hopefully Sense 6 will improve on that, improved Blink feed, uh, improved native applications, like their, their mail app and such. Uh, it should just give a better seamless experience. Uh, improved boom sound as well. Boom sound are the front-facing speakers found on HTC One, which sort of makes sense. If you're looking at your phone a lot, you want the sound coming right at your face. Hopefully that will be improved. Kind of cool, too, we should have a wide-angle camera on the front. So if you want to take your selfies, you can now get you and your bestie right next to you. You know, just making just some killer killer duck faces. Uh, we should also have you know, the HTC design. I wouldn't hold your breath for any sort of removable back like you saw on the HTC One Max. We should have that sort of aluminum build, that unibody feel, that great construction. From a spec standpoint, you should have an improved processor, Qualcomm Snapdragon 800, possibly uh, an 805. I'd expect three gigs uh, of RAM in there as well. You want to take just normal pictures. Uh, it should also be an improved ultra pixel uh, camera as well. Uh, we're getting probably a bigger 5-inch screen, 1080p, uh, and it should look super duper nice and see how it stacks up to the biggest competition, the as yet announced uh, Galaxy S5. So they should be going head to head. I hope HTC's got plenty of juice left in the tank. I think they make great smartphones, and I'm just curious to see what they have next. But we'll know very, very soon on the 25th of March. Let me take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at lynda.com. Lynda.com offers thousands of engaging, easy to follow video tutorials taught by industry experts to help you learn software, creative, and those ever important business skills. Membership starts at just 25 bucks per month and provides unlimited, and I mean 24 seven access to all kinds of courses that you need to know. Learn at your own pace from bite-sized tutorials or comprehensive courses ranging in things from web design, programming, photography, business, audio and video, 3D animation, and a ton more. New courses are added every week. The course library keeps pace with today's fast-paced training technical and software skills. Watch lynda.com on the go from your computer, tablet, or any mobile device. Give it a shot. Better yourself. Why not? Try lynda.com free for seven days by visiting lynda.com slash technobuffalo. So what do you guys think? Are you going to wait to get your next phone? Do you want to see what HTC comes out with? Or are you like, listen, I don't care what they come out with. I'm getting the next iPhone. I'm getting the Galaxy S5 regardless. I'm getting whatever Nokia comes out with. Or you really want to see what the folks at HTC have in store. I think if you're smart, you want to wait to see what HTC has got in store. It's not that far away, a little over a month, you know, maybe five and a half-ish weeks. It uh, should be pretty cool to see what is going to be coming. Uh, so of you guys leave your comments down in my pants region. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like. We most definitely appreciate it. Until next time, I am John Wrench from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you in the next video. Oh my God. What's up everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.